Yo, what's up guys? Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a tutorial, but some of my mates at school wanted to see one. So today we're going to be making something similar to this. Um, it's like my custom own Modern Warfare 3 Prestige Emblem. Um, I do have a bit of a different voice. I've got a cold at the moment, so do mind that. Let's just make sure this is working. Yeah, it's working fine. Alright, so we're going to make something similar to this. So you want to open up your Photoshop and create a new document. Um, I usually use something nice and big, that's what she said, <laughs> nah, 2000 pixels by 2000 pixels. Alright, I might want to change this background to darker grey, I don't know, I just like having a darker kind of backdrop to work with. So you want to unlock the layer, so you're stuck with this white blank piece of canvas. So what you want to do, you want to get a dark grey. I'm using 161616 and put it in. It gives you a nice dark canvas to work with. Um, also, if you want to, you can use your brush tool and make a new layer and put a white dab in the middle and lower the opacity and it gives you kind of a gradient to work with. Um, so that's your background that uh, we'll be working with. Um, you want to click Control R to load up your rulers. So it should be like this. What you do, you come up to the top one, you drag it down. Make sure you're selected on your background layer and you drag it down. And you'll see it'll lock into the center like that. And that is the exact center of the canvas. So do it with the um, vertical one as well. So that leaves you with you know, uh, quadrants that we'll be using. Um, make a new layer and use the, click the P key for the pen tool. Um, so you'll see in this, um, it makes like a curved, now that uh, bit there actually looks like the pen tool, you'll see, pen tool, if you look at that, it actually looks very similar to that. Um, so what you do, you want to make it curved, and what we're going to do, we're going to make it vertical, but then we're going to tilt it later. So start about here, and you want to curve it a bit, like that. And then hold the Alt key, go to that point in the middle, and click it. And then you can do another nice curve here. Alright. Now, instead of doing that side, we, you know, we want to make it even. So just go down a bit and join it back up. Now since you're on this new layer you want to right click and fill path with a color we're going to use a light gray um, A7, A7, A7 um, then you want to right click and delete path then click V for your move tool and then while on this layer that you've just made click Control J and then Control T and right click and flip horizontally and hold shift while you're dragging it and drag it across so it clicks like that and it leaves you with um, an exact opposite so put that back there um, now what you want to do you want to merge these two layers together and then click control T and if you don't like it then you could edit the shape of it make it a bit longer whatever so that looks pretty good like that um, uh, now you want to click Control J on this merge layer, click Control T, and then you see this middle point, you can drag this anywhere, you want to drag it right to the bottom of this square. Okay, um, sorry about that, I uh, just had to pause it. Okay, now, while that's dragged to the bottom, you want to go up to this elevated um, image here, and change it to 90 degrees, and as you see, it tilts it. Um, you want to click Control J again. Control T. Now you'll see that. Um, actually, wait a sec. I've got an idea. Let's scratch that. Delete and delete. Now, what you'll actually want to do, you want to add some shading to this. So you want to click the M key, which gives you your um, rectangular marquee tool. And while on your shape layer, you want to drag it to the center like that. So it leaves you with half of it to color in. Um, actually, you want to do that so you get the bottom bit too just in case um, then you, what you want to do you want to go to this hand and then click on the dodge tool 
um, make it a decent size to maybe 200 or something, around about 200. Um, then what you want to do, you're just going to color in this right here. Now, as you notice, it doesn't go over to this side because um, we've made it so you can only edit this side because of the marquee tool. So you want to just quickly add that and then uh, Control D to deselect. And as you see, it's made it a bit lighter on that side. And then click M again and then do the exact same thing but for this side. But instead of using the dodge tool, use the burn tool um, and make it about the same size and you want to just drag down and you'll see this makes this side darker so it adds a bit of depth as you see I'll just move that now that looks pretty nice with a nice metal look now you want to do the duplicating whoops uh oh what I do there alright so just do the same thing that we are doing before um, make that 90 um, duplicate control T get the middle point and then make it 90 and then control J for the last time down to the bottom and then make it 90 alright then you wanna get the now you wanna click on the top one hold shift and click on the bottom which selects all of them click control T and then flip it 45 degrees now as you see we're getting to that kind of effect there now, uh, uh, let's see, you can merge them, so click Control E and it merges them. Now you want to, while on this layer, on the arrow layer, click on the background layer. No, wait, no, stay on that, hold Control and click the image for the background layer. And while, click V for the move tool and you'll see, you get these options up the top. Now click the middle one on here and the middle one on here and it puts it exactly in the center and click control D alright now what we want to do we want to add something in the middle you can add anything you want like a gem or I don't know another image um, let's make things simple let's just use a circle so make a new layer actually no you don't even need to make a new layer um, just hold shift when you open it so it makes it nice and um, like a normal circle because if you don't it goes everywhere like that so you just want to hold shift and about there looks good. Oh no, I did it wrong. Okay, that looks pretty good. You want to rasterize and put it in the center. So the exact same way. Okay, that looks pretty good. And if you see, if you get rid of it, you get left with all that crappy stuff. So you want to, that's why you put something in the middle. Now let's add some effects to make it like an orb. So you see that looks kind of like an orb, metallic orb. So double click it and go to color overlay and let's use green actually we'll use a lime green let's use that oh no no no, no. that looks good okay uh, then what you want to do uh, just exit that make a new layer and merge it with that so it gets rid of the color overlays effect so we can use bevel and emboss make the style um, a no, the technique is chisel hard and make the depth a bit higher so 32 looks alright um, gloss contour that looks pretty good so you want to click this one this fourth one you want to make the uh, highlight a bit higher and the shadow a bit lower and you can leave that um, all the angles and shit um, a drop shadow uh, 100% Distance 0, spread 10, size 10. That looks good. Okay, now you want to do the exact same thing but for a different circle and a bit smaller. So let's have a look. Does that fit? No, you need to extend it a bit. You want to make it so that it's inside its bevel, inside that little circle in the middle there. So let's just have a look here. Now a bit bigger. All right, that should fit. Oh, well, that'll do anyway. Now you want to rasterize and double click. You want to add inner shadow and opacity 100, uh, distance at three, and choke at 
7, size 7. Actually, size 10 actually looks good. Um, color overlay. Make it any color you want. Um, preferably not the same as the outside bit. So let's go with a magenta. No, that looks kind of crap. Make it so it actually suits the style. Let's try light blue. What does that look like? Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, a light blue color. That's what we'll be using. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good so far. Now you want to make a new layer and merge it with the inside orb. And then make another new layer. Make it a clipping mask. So you hold the Alt key, go in between the two layers and click. And you see it makes this little uh, layer here. Now while on this layer, you want to make the marquee tool. The circular marquee tool, sorry. Wait, yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then you just make like a circle above it like that. And then get the gradient tool. Make it white to, uh, white to transparent. And drag down and deselect. Now if we move the rulers and I accidentally moved the gloss and then we actually can transform it give it more of shape like that and we can even tilt it a bit like that then reduce the opacity and it gives it a bit of gloss and shine and stuff like that. Although I did put a lot more effort into that one there. And that's like a gold ring. That looks still pretty good though. Um, we can get rid of the rulers now. So you just go to view and clear guides. So you see that looks pretty good so far. It's not the best thing ever. But this is just a quick tutorial. Walk. It's the time. Wow I really need to get things moving. Um, so you can merge the two inner orbs together. Then for the points, you see that I've got like a little circle. Um, how I did that, I go to ellipse tool and make a just circle, a small circle, uh, rasterize layer, and I put it about there. You know, it's not that accurate, but still, it's pretty good. I then I'll just add an inner shadow and keep. Just keep all its effects, but make the opacity 100. Color overlay so it's a dark gray, not too dark though. So 919191 is pretty good. Um, then what you do, duplicate it and change the effects so that the drop shadow, the inner shadow, sorry, is minus 120. Then you just want to pull it down so that it's in line with um, that point here. Now you just merge them, control T, and flip horizontally, and then drag it over. Oh, whoops, sorry. Did something wrong here. Control J, sorry then flip horizontally and drag it over here geez I'm doing terrible today what am I doing horizontal and drag it across it gives us that then you can merge that with the arrows and add a drop shadow so 100% distant zero and you can just play around the spread and the size so it looks pretty good like that yeah and then you can also add an inner bit you don't really need to but even that looks pretty good like that merge them together but if you want to know how to do it just add the rules again and then just do the same thing but um, use the pen tool again so just do the exact same thing and then oh you need to make a new layer sorry then fill with a custom color so let's use 
a darker grey. But do my uh, I will mind you that if you use white or black, the burn and dodge tool will not work. So use uh, a random color. So like that. Delete the path and drag it under it like that. Then Control J of the little arrow that you just made horizontal like that. So you'll see it's like that. Then you can use um, the marquee tool and again you can just use the burn and the dodge tool to um, add nice effects. Marquee tool and use the burn tool. And then you do the exact same thing. Whoops, control J. And that's it pretty much. Just have to keep doing that until you go around 90. Oh, or you could do that. Control E. And then flip it 90. Oh my god, control J. Then flip it 90. Like that. And then you can add a drop shadow to this one too. So 100%, and then play around with the size and that. And then you can merge it with that. And then I'll just clear the guides to have a look. That's the final product, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. You know, you can add all different effects that you want. So you can add different points. You can add... See, I've got four points here. I did one before, and I had, like, five different points coming out. You can do two with wings. Um, I might do another tutorial on how to do, like, metallic wings or something. Um, they're pretty cool. They look sick. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for the tutorial. Uh, yeah, that's another one I made like that. It looks pretty similar, but you see the points look different. Yeah. I made two different ones, but I did make another one before, um, and that looks pretty sweet. So, I hope you liked the tutorial. I hope you out there watching Mates at School, um, you've been asked for a tutorial for a while. I finally made one. So, yeah, hope you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends, all that shit. Um, but I'll see you later.